We fit notorious for like uh, planking a lot on the ledge, not really having to play the game. But We fit did get buffed in this game. Deep breathing is really scary. Her damage output is insane. Right now, we already see Glitchbird going on the ledge, just putting out hitboxes with that header. But I, he, he hit a uh, A1 a couple times. I, I like the down air onto the stage. Gonna just force Master Mario out. Master Mario is the kind candy color Mario here, and Prodigy is wedding him up. So we have a uh, yeah, we have three of, in my opinion, the best Mario skins. Oh, those are all super good Mario skins. I love the construction work of Mario and the Wang Mario costumes. I, I like these landing down here from G Bird though. You know, he's doing a great job of just forcing his opponent out from under him, saying, please stop let uh, try to trap my landings. It's not gonna work. Ooh. Quick boat smash from A1 actually gonna take red team pulls ahead the first stop. Yeah, right now G Bird not actually just playing the game at all. Um, they did get that first stock, but A1 took so much damage and died pretty early because G Bird not really being there to help him. And that's the one problem of We Fit Planking right here. It's really good, and you're not going to take a lot of damage, and you're going to be stock tanking, but right now, A1's taking so much percent, and they're like, we don't actually have to pay attention to G-Bird. Let's just 2v1 this Mario. Yeah, the really just pressuring G-Bird by saying, I'm going to keep paying your partner. It's up to you to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, G-Bird is not participating. I want to see him activate his uh, deep breathing and just go in and do some damage. Yeah, right there, the header actually only connecting on his teammate right now. That one was a pretty good header, though, I will say. And A1 losing another stock. Bird does have, you know, all of his, but, you know, it's not going to matter too much if A1 keeps losing these stocks and having it borrow them from his team. But still, even though both teams having four stocks, Gbird at 113, but the way he's been playing, I don't see him dying for another two minutes. Yeah, honestly, like, that is the thing is they have him at a high percent, but they're not even really making an attempt to get rid of that stock. Yeah, Vasta is occasionally going over to throw out a hitbox, but he's not worried. He's chilling. G Bird probably going to go oh. in for this edge guard, but hitting hitting A1 by mistake. But G Bird is still alive. Yeah, he's not losing the stock anytime soon. Master Mario signed to try and go over and pressure him. Says, never mind. I'll get back to this 2v1. We're still not seeing any of the Mars really throw out the cape for these projectiles coming in. So it's just being a lot of free percent for G Bird. Now, the issue is that they still do have the Mario in their faces. So even if they try and throw the skip to deal with G Bird, then they get hit by Mario. And that's the down air for Instant stock take. Yeah. Stock you already knew you only had one stock. Oh, try to go for a down air. I would have liked to maybe just see a, a volleyball spiker because that has a lot active, uh, bigger active hitbox and it's easier to hit. All right, landing up there for Prodigy. Gonna just keep him alive, you know. Everyone's really at a high percent and is in the favor of the blue team finally, but... G-Bird is refusing that. to play this game. I love it. All right, I think they're finally deciding, you know what? I'm tired of this this ball. It's hit me way too many times. Now yeah. we've got a one-stock situation for the red team. G-Bird finally loses his stock, but immediate response with that backwards forward tilt gets the stock off of Master Mario. We are at one stock apiece, but A1 in a really bad spot. He's saying a, a very high percent. So right now, G-Bird may be going to participate a little more. He knows this is really close. For as much damage as A1 had to take throughout the whole match just to make this even. Okay, so back throw going to get him out of there. Oh my gosh, almost getting hit by the F-Smash. Trying to go for a conversion of some sort. Nothing yeah, going to come in. shield though from A1. Keeping himself alive. The forward smash on shield, not going to... Uh, still going to get punished though. I know A1's getting a little too trigger happy. He's waiting for a lot of smash attacks. And that's oh, going to kill? Master Mario's gone. Bro, deep breathing's I, broken. Oh my gosh, that would have been such a good conversion. We fit jab will uh, it'll ground you if you're on the ground or yeah bury you if you're on the ground so Mario can just commit to that with an uh, F smash but unfortunately he's gonna also hit Mario this is really oh, close F smash G Bird and A1 taking game one over our first seeds of this doubles tournament yo plank planking for four minutes worked it's an honestly pretty solid strategy I think because they weren't you know A1 knows what glitch Bird's gonna do he has the practice with it saying. I'm just going to do my best to stay alive as long as possible and harass them. As long as he's not losing stocks to any early combos, red team's coming out ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely shaky in the beginning. Yeah, red team was really shaky in the beginning. They weren't, it didn't look like they were doing too well, but A1 just knew how to fight both the Marios. He was keeping his own. G-Bird was just kind of chipping him out with these uh, headers and the deep breathings. Or not the deep breathing, the sun values. Yeah, and then it, even... 
you know, to point out the deep breathing, though, when it came down to it, he was able to hit the deep breathing and then find some super early kills with it off of these, like, forward kills. Ooh, falling up here into grab, that's a new one I haven't seen. But you know what? It wouldn't surprise me. It's Mario. He has it all. So I'm curious about what the adaptation for the blue team is going to be. I feel like they're probably going to try to... Ooh. That's one way of doing it. You know, we said as long as A1's not losing these early stocks, then they're okay. But you know, when he's dying at 60 to Foda, that's really what's going to put the blue team in a really solid lead. Yeah, it looked like Jeeper wanted to save him, but he grabbed ledge by accident. He could have uh, ran down and uh, upbeat him all the way up. But he grabbed the ledge, so there was a little too much lag coming in, so it was really unfortunate. So, and I also, I think that the blue team is going to start trying to hit G-Bird a little more. They realize that his planking is just a little too good, so they're actually going to try to commit to him more. So it's bringing it from a 2v1 and someone planking to a 2v1 now. All right, great down here from G-Bird. He's been landing with that a lot, and it's been working out for him. He misses the deep breathing timing there. Uh, surprising, deep breathing actually a lot easier to time in this game. But, but it happens sometimes. It happens. Especially, you know, there's a lot going on he's got to look at. He goes all behind back, though. Almost going to get that sock. Not quite, though. He looks for the flush. Still trying to let trap. Goes for the forward smash. Yeah, T-Bird also went for the F smash on that back throw again. It's still almost hitting A1. Alright, up smash for Master Mario. Not able to find a sock off of T-Bird quite yet. Another up smash. Still not going to do it. Yeah, T-Bird still... He's living. Is he... All right, not going to try to go for a reversal edge guard on Master right there, going in. Oh, unfortunately, A1 going to lose another stock while Blue Team still has all their stocks. Uh, decently high percent, but it's still six to four right now. Yeah, you know the numbers don't lie, man. It's going to be a real tough uphill battle for the Red Team here. But they were able to do it last time. I could see them doing it again. Oh, great spot dodge up smash, the Mario Classic. Oh, get up attack. That was not going to be the option right there. A lot of lag coming in, and uh, Prodigy just able to get a quick up smash out of it. Right, right now, though, the forward tilt, not going to kill from across the stage, even at 200%. Yeah, I would have liked to see reverse forward tilt, because the lag hitbox would have just scooped him right up. No way it would have been limited to 200. Oh, definitely. But that short hop down it. Wow, Master Mario was still alive. Master Mario does not want to leave. A B, not going to take top, it, though. Almost. Yeah, right now, Master's uh, the stock tank now. Right. Great Sun Sal's going to just force them away from the ledge. Jeebert still trying to find a way to get the stock tank. Finally down. taking the first stock off of Master Mario right here, but still 4-3. Oh. He got him? Right there. Yo, oh, Jeebert, you're a legend. One more stock like that, and all of a sudden they're in the lead. They, they have right to even stocks from a really severe deficit. That was a snipe of a century. Like, I'm putting some mad respect on that. Yeah, but this is still really scary for A1. He is at 120% on his last stock. <laughs> Parry up smash and another up smash. Oh, give me that. Give me give that. Me you that. don't need it. I, I actually do like it. I feel like Mario's just better in the 2v1 than the Weak Fit Trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he is able to find some early stocks where it feels like Weak Fit Trainer is going to be on the back end the whole time. Yeah. So right now, A1's going to try to make it out. And uh, while it's happening, they're probably thinking about what Game 3 is going to be like. I won't lie. This is a really big deficit. I'm not counting A1 out completely, but they're probably going to be talking about what kind of adaptations they're going to have to make in the event that they don't win. A1 trying to get something started right here, but not going to happen. In that 2v1, it's so hard to get a good combo going in because your other partner didn't be able to save you and just knock you out of it. Yeah, but there's the back here. He goes for bear there, but doesn't find it. Upbeat from ledge, not going to even connect. What are we going to get here? Oh! Down air? Oh, the oh, DI was straight up. On him. He posed on him. Yeah, getting that down there, and that's going to send straight up. I don't think the DI was very good on that, but Master uh, and Prodigy. There wasn't much to do there, I don't think. Yeah, I got a fake combo from Master Mario and Prodigy to end it out there. Finishing it out with three stocks. They were looking looking really bad in the beginning. They were starting to bring it back, but it was just too far gone. They both got hit by a couple of up smashes, and it was, that was just the wraps from then. So, game three, they realized they were getting, or game two, they realized that they needed to actually start attacking G-Bird, at least put some damage on him, because he wasn't really taking any damage. And 2v1ing Mario does work, but in the event of we fit with three stocks, it's just, 
it ended up not working out. So game three, let's see what we're gonna let's see what the adaptation from both teams are gonna be. Let's see what they try to change up. I mean, we did see A1 losing his stock kind of early in the very beginning of that. You know, dying to a forward air at like 50. percent So if he's able to you know just stay alive a little bit longer and like we could do his thing, then I think we'll see you know a really competitive game here at least. But is that the kill off the top? No, no. Town and City really high uh, ceiling, so not gonna see those as early stocks as you'd like to see. Yeah, but that was still 90% on the weapon trail with a great combo from Master Mario. Well, Master coming down with the falling uh, fireball into a down, uh, forward air. I've seen a lot of fireballs coming in from all these Marios, and it's so good. It's so good for keeping your stage control. I down smash, and he hits the, the uh, medicine ball, so he is able to just hit everyone there. Oh, where's oh. your shield? Where? Double off smash coming in. We've okay. been committing a little too much with that F smash there. I didn't like that idea to try to save him. I would have liked to see something less committed like a jab, because at least that has a hitbox on both sides. A1 died at zero. I saw that. I. Yikes. Yeah, yeah right now. Starting to really run away from the red team here. Prodigy and Maps are kind of starting to feel each other now. They know what they need to do. This is, this is looking rough. But I'm not counting out the red team yet. We've seen them down before. Yeah, I feel like we've been seeing Wii Fit Trainer try and fight a lot more than he was in the first game. Yeah, that that doesn't seem like it's going to be the play. He's kind of going in and throwing out a lot of hitboxes. So it's it's just something you can't really do as often. But we're going to get one stock off them. Unfortunately, though, you know, Wii Fit doesn't have the best hitboxes. It's really hard to just go in and find that quick kill. Even that back is not going to kill the Matsumar of Sega 130 right now. G-Bird, G-Bird's trying to square up, and Mario's not really that kind of character you can box as easily. They want to get to take another stock, though. Four to three, as long as they can try to not die, and they start uh, planking a lot more. Right. Back here from Kaji, just going to keep uh, G-Bird at this ledge. Wait, I'm sorry, they're not letting this red team know, get back on stage at all. They're just trapping them in the air, on the ledge, over and over and over, until they're finally able to get that stuff off of G-Bird right now. Ooh, both of them trying to do a forward aerial spike. Oh, good stop. And there, oh. There it is. It's down to the 2v1 on this Wii Fit Trainer. A1. Four stocks to one. A1 went to ham right there. He was trying to he was trying to get a lot of those options in and trying to cheese off Prodigy stock, and uh, he ended up getting caught. Oh, there we go, there we go, that's two stocks. Alright, Jeeber taking two stocks. Jeeber, what do you got for us? Alright, Jeeber looking like a monster right now, taking two stocks. Jeeber, can you header someone at 0%? He's really fighting for his life right now, he doesn't want to let A1 down here in this 2v1. Bro, if Jeeber brings us back, I might have to leave. Like, it might be too hype. Ooh, good cats coming in from Prodigy. Oh, he looks for the up not gonna find it. Alright, not gonna go for a punish, he knew that would've been a bad option. Jeeber's moving right now. Down to a back air? Oh, still not going to die right Hi, now. Hi, Yeah, that he knew he couldn't get the fair, good. and that was going to be the option to actually get the kill off there. Master Mario and Prodigy going to take that 2-1. First game was, uh, the first game they won, they lost was really shaky, but those next two games, they were just, they, they, they were dominating. Yeah, you know, takes a little bit of warm-up, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, first, day, first game of the day, 10 a.m. pools, you know. All, all, the, all the excuses they want, but still you know, good. they were able to clutch out in the end. And, you know, I... The Wii Fit Trainer was looking really solid in that first game. You know, he was getting his damage uh, and just letting a A1 do his best to stay alive, but not really committing to fighting. But as soon as he started fighting on game two and three, it started to just kind of like fall downhill. Yeah, it was really unfortunate, but still good stuff to A1 and Glitchbird. They really had their team going underway. It just, once Glitchbird started fighting and trying to square up against Mario, it just didn't work out. Honestly, game three, he should have just tried to stick with that, uh, with that hybrid of just planking on the ledge and then occasionally squaring up to fight yeah. instead of him trying to actually go in and get it into the fray. Yeah. All right, so now we have Raging Cherry and Yonki uh, coming back to the stage, making a reappearance, but this time against our number two seeds of the day, Stroder and Pandaria. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be fun to watch. I'm Pandaren playing uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer. Trainer but I have no clue who Stroh's going to go in doubles. I mean, whatever he wants. I Luigi, Greninja, Lucina, Dr. Mario, anything he wants. Hi. Ah, uh, he got us. He got us. He got me. All right. This is Toasty signing off. Yeah. <laughs> Stroder got us. 
I, but yeah, he, he, you know, I feel like every time I look at like the Arizona Smash Facebook page, I see Strodo won a tournament with a different character. Yeah, he's gonna just mess around and bring out the the Mii Brawler. Ooh, no. Ooh. All right, bro, you put some respect on his Mii Brawler. Oh, whoa, well, they delete a lot of tags. Hey, they don't need them. I mean, I'm gonna respectfully disagree, but you know what? I'm not the one on the on the stage right now, so. If you need it, you'll put it back in yourself later on. You know. True. The, the, the switch only holds so many names, and it's not a lot for some reason. Like they really cut down that number. Do you, does any? Do you know what the specific number like you could do in Smash Four versus Ultimate? No, I don't remember. I never counted. That's fair. Who would? I'll I'll, I'll figure that out though. I'm I'm genuinely someone, curious. Uh, someone hit uh, hit me up on Twitter with that stat real quick, please. Um, but either way, you know, we're going to be jumping into a probably pretty exciting match. If I had to guess, I'd say uh, this one goes to Strodo and uh, Pandarian, but... But you never know. <laughs> <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> but like I was going to say, you know, Yonki and Raging Cherry, it looked harsh for them in the first set we saw on stream, but they were able to bring it back and clutch it out. So, you know, we can't ever be counting them out. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, man. I can't help it. I'm hyped. Uh, fair enough. You know what? Are we gonna see Stroder's Mario? Mario? Why not? He's Stroder. Ah, play Mario, wherever he wants. Really solid doubles character. We already saw three of them in the last set. Honestly, should have been four. Oh, I like the little heart tag. Pokemon okay, no, I take it back. So Raging Cherry is going with. Mario this game instead oh. of the Donkey Kong or the Lucina. Oh, but for a second, I'd just like to give some props to Stroder. That is a clean Greninja skin. Like that is that's nice. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like the I like the outfits here. Wait, did you do you see that? See Stroder and Pandaren just did a did a quick RPS. For no reason. Oh the Oh Oh Wait, oh. no, it's game three now. Oh Stroder, oh, Stroder, Stroder bringing it out 2-1. Anyways, we're gonna start the match. 